Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel and I, you know I always like to chat with you guys about different things that's brewing around cast members from a lot of the shows that I recap and this time it's in regards to Love Island Australia Season 3, Jess and Aaron. There has been some things being chitter chatter on the chattering mill, if that's what you want to call it, about the fact of whether or not they are still together or not. So I came across this on Reddit. Um, a lot of people are speculating because of the fact that they are not following each other any longer on uh, social media, that something has to be going on. And technically, I've been following them a lot on Instagram, and I have not seen either of the two of them in the same space with each other, like we've seen with Mitch and Tina, and like we've seen even a little bit with Chris and Zoe, and even with Taku and, Maka and Michaela, they've been hanging out as well on social media. So it was interesting that we have yet to see Jess and Aaron actually hanging out. Now, there was a reunion, but they were in their own private separate spaces. We've only seen Aaron kind of hanging out a lot with the boys, Mitch Ryan, I actually think right after the season was over, he was actually, you know, staying with Ryan um, once everything was done instead of us seeing him kind of connecting even further outside of the villa with uh, Jess. Now, as you guys probably remember, in the few weeks um, prior to um, the grand finale, Jess had this whole wardrobe malfa uh, malfunction mix up and she created this whole chaos around the fact that she thought that um Aaron detested her and was looking at her disgustingly and she built this whole negative detachment with him it was crazy in itself but then all of a sudden she snapped back with the moment that we remember seeing Aaron decided that he was going to self-eliminate and she begged and she pleaded why are you doing this you don't have to go I don't want you to go please stay it was a crazy scenario it didn't make sense and that's why in a couple of my recaps I was like okay is this a production thing and they just wanted to create drama for the show or was she actually throwing a ton of red flags with her behavior because it seemed really toxic. It seemed very manipulative. He wasn't even feeling like himself. He didn't like the way he was feeling about, you know, how things were going in the moment between between him and Jess. And that's why we remember we wanted, I mean, he wanted to um, leave the show and kind of put some distance between them. But then all of a sudden they fixed everything and they made it into the final three of the grand finale, right? It just didn't make sense. So I don't know, and this is all alleged speculation. You remember on my channel, I like to hear it from the source. You know, I, I, I talk with you guys about what's being discussed, but we won't know anything in totality or in, fi in you know, in finale, in final, if unless it comes from them too. But the way it looks they have not been seen on social media together. We did see Aaron just do an overhaul on his look. He had the blonde platinum type hair and now he's a brunette. And check out the video that I just posted where um, they're having this unofficial reunion. I just posted it about an hour or so ago. So I'll also tag that link in this video or I'll attach them both to each other. So y'all can kind of keep up with everything that I kind of post on my channel with regards to after the villa um, of Love Island Australia season three. So, you know, I don't know. It doesn't look too good for these two. But, you know, a lot of you guys from the comments that I've seen over the past several episodes that we were doing, you guys didn't want them together anyway, especially after the whole mental implosion of Jess 
over this whole wardrobe malfunction and she created this whole hysteria about how he didn't like her and telling her what to do and I don't like how you're talking to me and you made I know how you feel but at the same time he couldn't tell her how she felt you probably remember my commentary on that whole thing so I don't know if they just you know maybe came up with some type of I don't know agreement to say okay you know what let's just stick it out to the show with the show on its end because other than that, if he had a left, she would have been eliminated. She had no connection, and they wasn't going to let people stay in the villa just because. So they had to, you know, kind of break this down. So I don't know if it was a conversation between the two of them or production is like, you know what, y'all need to fix this. Y'all been together. Y'all made it exclusive. I don't know. Just get through the end of the season. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. I wasn't there. I'm about. 5,000 miles away from Australia. So I have no idea. It's all speculation, you know, just in conversation with you guys. So, yeah, I mean, that's the buzz right now that, um, you know, Jess and Aaron might not be together at this point, especially since they don't follow each other anymore on their social medias and they have not been seen you know, in the same space with each other, either all hugged up or, you know, kind of like, like I said, what we saw with Mitch and Tina and Chris and Zoe and even Taku and Michaela, you know, they're figuring their situation out. I kind of, I posted the fact of them being at that reunion together. So I don't know. You know what? My, my thing is when I saw those red flags early in the season with Jess and how she kind of self-sabotaged this whole relationship over absolutely nothing I it just I was like nah this is not a good look especially if it seems that Aaron is in a healthy mental space and she's trying to take him down this rabbit hole and especially if something escalated after the season ended where we had to see pretty much Aaron bunking it with um bunking meaning you know staying at somebody's house i know every country have different terms so staying at ryan's after the villa instead of bonding with his exclusive uh you know castmate i just find that pretty interesting and even on her social media i mean the pictures of each other from the show is still on each other's social media so they haven't deleted any of that but in you know, their own personal videos and IG stories and reels and stuff. We have not seen the connection at all that they even been remotely close in each other's space like we've seen with the other couples. I mean, Tina and Mitch is all over the place. I mean, there's videos of her kissy facing with him, them hanging out, going out to dinner, doing things. You know, like I said, we saw Taku and Michaela hanging out as well. Um, Chris and Zoe, I know they live in separate spaces, but they're definitely still a couple from what I've seen. So it's just just an errand. It's weird. And of course, Reddit, Reddit is always buzzing about something. Whether it's true and whether some things are not true, you can always find somebody talking about something going on on Love Island, Love Island, Australia on Reddit. And they definitely picked this up. So let me know what you think. It's not looking good for these two. And if they're not together, I wish them both the best. And maybe they can find the true love that they're looking for outside of the villa. So drop your comments down in the comments section. Let me know if you guys found more other details. We can also make another video and talk about that. I like talking with you guys. So until the next update, like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next video.